Welcome back folks and uh, we're going to show you a help video on this architectural footprint. So I'll do file, new, and this time in our wizard that we have, I'm going to use the architectural. Use everything through there is fine, but when we get to the limits, 54 this way, 37 that way. So I'm just going to do something large enough, 80 foot by 80 foot square. That should be plenty. All right, here we go. So what I want to do is when I take off on this one, line zero comma zero to start out with. And if I come around, probably come up this way and come around this way. So I want to hit at um, zero comma 27 <coughs> foot. Enter, shoots it up there. Well, Escape, hit Z for zoom, enter, A for all, shows you the whole thing. Line, make sure your object snaps on endpoint. Perfect. Hit at, and I'm coming over 10 foot to here. So at be 10 foot, comma zero. Make sure you put your feet sign in there, guys. The next one is at, I'm doing a, a, a movement here that uh, it's going to have an X and Y change. So if I hit at, X is going to be 2 foot dash 7 inches, comma, 1 foot dash, this is my Y, 1 foot dash 6.5 inches. Okay, enter. So now at, I'm coming over 5, so at, Five comma zero, and y'all see what I did? I didn't hit foot, so I gotta go back and clean that up. So line again at five foot comma zero, and then we're gonna come back down at this angle. So it'll be at two foot dash seven inches, and then we're going to go negative because we're coming downhill from that zero. 1 foot dash 6.5 inches I see I didn't put a uh, I did not put a uh, comma between those so I'll copy I'll put that right back down here so I don't have to retype it again and now It'll work, but it went the wrong way. You all see that? Because there was not a negative in there. So I'll undo. I don't want to undo it. I'll just click there. Delete. Line. I'll start right there. And I'll copy that right back in. And I'll put me a negative right there. Comma. Negative 1.65. There it is. Now I'm coming over 12 foot. So at. At 12 foot dash 10.5 inches comma zero boom now I'm coming up at 10 foot so at zero and X 10 foot and Y now I'm going to come over 21 foot at negative 21 foot dash zero inches and I went negative that was a goof up right escape delete and go in there Put it back in at 21 foot dash zero inches. <clears throat> now I want to come down at zero comma negative 20 foot dash six inches. I want to come in now three foot at negative three foot dash zero inches. Let's come down at zero and x negative nine foot dash three point five inches now we've got this little chamfer look here so at an x it's going to be negative because we're going this way we're going in a negative value of two foot two foot dash two point five inches comma why we're also doing the same 
amount. Negative two foot dash two and a half inches. Boom. We're going to come straight across at negative 14 foot dash 4.5 inches. And it didn't like something I wrote there because you know what it was? I didn't put my Y value in. And now we're coming down here to this little amount. This will be at negative two foot dash 4.5 inches comma and the distance from here down to here is five foot at a negative five foot and then those basically should just tie right in together I just clicked on that zero zero or that end point of that other line so again um, in that if you have any questions and if you also want to check your dimensions on there it's very easy to do just like I showed you before we're going to get into this more heavy but just change this to annotative and if you go over here and click on this on your styles manager in annotations change that to additive annotative while you're in here annotative go to modify make sure in primary units you're using architectural so you can actually go in here and whenever you click on it you have to have it scaled so it'll show up usually a quarter inch equals one foot standard you can also change it right here folks okay and then you can go in and start checking your values okay but if you have any question on this one just let me know